What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going on a recall, a potential recall. Uh, last week, we did a power flush of a seven loop Upinor EP in floor radiant manifold. We kind of restored flow of water, which would equal heat to one of the seven loops that was the problem. They said it worked marginally well for a couple days and it stopped working altogether. I explained to the homeowner the flow valves on the Upanor radiant manifold, um, how to tell if his own actuator is open or closed. I did that in person, so we're all on the same page. Um, according to the homeowner, the one of seven, only one zone is on, it's that one, there's no flow. And it's evident by the zone um, flow meter on the radiant manifold. So, she, she, she almost got ran over. Look at this. Because it says, don't walk. But, New York State law, pedestrians have the right of way in a walkway. Even if it's green, they have the right of way in the walkway. Prove me wrong. Okay, let's go back to this awesome install and radiant system in this tremendous house. Daniel will be showing up there uh, later on. And he's going to be doing some uh, preventative maintenance and annual maintenance on the HVAC systems and the Burnham Alpine that we installed about four or five years ago. Let's go! All right, guys, remember this? Let me tell you what the problem is. You see that zone, this loop? We're not getting any real flow through this loop. I've power flushed it. We've added the Sentinel system restore. This loop is a problem. We're getting about 105 degrees to it and roughly 80, but very, very little flow is coming out of this loop. I need to find a possible restriction or kink in this line. And it goes here, there, and then it disappears. And we need to find out if it's somehow kinked somewhere. Dan will be here shortly. He's going to do full maintenance on this Burnham Alpine. Nice, closely spaced tees. And we're going to change all the filters in the home. 12 April Air 213s. Good stuff. All right. I reconnected my radiant loop zone actuator. Um, I got flow about halfway through the uh, flow gauge. It looks like I'm at 0.4 on flow. Um, I just fired up the kitchen loops. There's two of them here, number five and number six. Let's see if we maintain flow here between air and lines, a possible kink in the line there that's not visible. Maybe, just maybe we were able to restore flow to the master bathroom, bedroom, radiant. Now, one of the things you have to be very careful with what we're doing here is we don't want to cross contaminate the water. I have domestic potable water directly connected to hydronic heating water. If there is a pressure loss on the domestic side and those valves are open at the faucet, we risk introducing that's filthy and just potentially dangerous fatal water 
that's in the heating, space heating side from entering into our domestic potable water. So be very careful, install a check valve, a backflow prevention device, something uh, in line between the hose faucet you're connected to and the domestic potable water. I have a flow check, like a pressure vacuum breaker at the faucet, so I'm protected there. But if I had this open and it was a pressure drop at the faucet, I do risk sucking in boiler water into the domestic potable water, so I cannot stress that enough. Uh, we are climbing. Looks like we're at 115 degrees. This is cool. Uh, that is circulating. We'll see. Hopefully this continues to climb. I have my mixing valve on my... on my line right here, fully open. So we have roughly 140 degrees leaving mixed water going to this radiant panel and uh, hopefully we get up there in temperature and hopefully we get the flow these are slowly opening five and six this is the kitchen you can see they're slowly starting to open up and as soon as we start to see some flow on our flow meters it looks like we dropped off on our master though oh yep looks like we dropped the flow there uh, sucks that really does suck horrible as these open yep ah horrible let me show you what is going on here if i close this we're gonna open up actually let's close this one as well watch this i'm gonna open up my potable water pressure and watch what happens when I open up this valve. Check out that safe. Look at that. And those are also in the same predicament. See, nice good flow there. Good flow there. If I were to pop off this loop and that loop, this should drop down to zero. Now I could close the flow meters. Ah. fighting against it. I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go. So I'm going to put this back. Okay, that just shut down. Let's get the other loop in the kitchen. Also shut down. Okay. Great flow there. Let's close our drain. We're gonna keep pressure in there. We're gonna close our incoming water. No flow. Let's pop open that one. And pop open that one. And now we're back to that point four on flow. So, opening up two more loops, decreased flow across all of them, and especially the zone we're trying to, we're still working on. So we still got a restriction there. We got plenty of flow from our circ, but just got a restriction there. And water movement, movement of water is gonna take the path of least resistance. All right, so here is the floor. That's been a problem for a couple months now. Set for 73, and it's reading, well, set for 76. <laughs> it's 73 in here, but take a look. Take a look at this floor. We have heat. <laughs> oh man. That's why I'm the doctor. <laughs> it's always such a sense of accomplishment when you fix something that's broken and you put a smile on their face. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, you 
Yeah, you see red? Like I see a smile. <laughs> oh. Oh, you should, we should go upstairs. You got to see your floor. All right, we'll see, ladies and gentlemen. I am actually not that optimistic here. I think that we have a restriction somewhere. Um, and I'm going to lean on you guys. Let me get your thoughts and feedback in the comment section down below or email me personally, mike at mikeypipes.com. And let me know your thoughts. Um, you saw the amount of water flowing through each loop. Some air, a little bit. I'm at a loss. I really am. I'm at a loss and uh, I got this gut feeling, you know, from the bottom of my stomach that I'm going to get a phone call back in the next couple days. But he actually texts me. He's a really nice, cool dude. Really cool guy. Him and his wife, they're uh, quite successful. Great people. I've been going to their house for, uh, I think, 10 years now. So let me get your thoughts and feedback. Did I miss something? Let me know in the comment section down below or email me. If you guys want any stickers, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Free of charge. I got you.